Alright, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire and welcome back from more Dragon Quest 9. The last episode we fought a Salamarauder and a Mortoad. In this episode we're gonna be fighting a Salamarauder and a uh, Mana War. I love how they keep that name. That's been Mana War ever since Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior 2 over here. So let's see how much Caduceus heals up. Because if that's pretty much a mid heal, then that's amazing. We never need to use anything. We never need to use mid heal. See, I can't really tell because I didn't have that much HP to begin with. Let's try it on calm. I can see how that does. One day. One day. Can I make it past you, even if I could? Oh, sweet, it worked! <laughs> oh, life is wonderful. I want that chest up there. It won't have anything good in it. But I want it. There's no way I was getting past that. Fortunately, he is already just pretty much dead, because there's one of him. And there are technically three of us, because Dust Field is healing. Ah, oh, this is a perfect opportunity to see much Caduceus does. Holy crap, that's way better than mid heal. Alright, Caduceus, that's all I need. Because it doesn't even use MP. So I can save my MP for... Well, considering Dust Field only the heals. I don't need MP. We get a mini metal. I knew it wasn't going to be worth it. Of course, we can trade mini metals for fun things, like falcon swords. Or if the DQ view, uh, DQBC was still up. We could have bought it with money very early on in the game, and kind of broken the game difficulty. Same with uh, miracle swords. But nothing we can do about that, because the DQ, uh, DQBC is long gone. And it was long gone before the Wi-Fi was long gone. I think I needed to go back in there. Part of me, I'm a little confused. Okay, okay. I see it now. Or Xenoblade is really fun. I'd never LP it, but... <laughs> that is too big of a game for me. To LP. I couldn't do it, right? They have their Trigger Conroy's LP. I don't really feel like anyone should do it. He gave up. <laughs> I don't know, when you have an LP that comprehensive, and it's already there, it's like, what's the point? Of course, you can say that about anyone. I'm sure someone has a much better Dragon Quest IX LP than mine, and I'm still doing it. It's all about perspective. I just personally wouldn't do it. Xenoblade is fun, but it is not LPable fun. Blue jeans, huh? Can I move Salamarauder? Nope. I feel like I could have, but then the Wyvern would have got me. Oh no, they called, they're called uh, Chimeras in this one. I don't even know why they changed that. It's not a Chimera. Chimeras are like, they have like goat heads, don't they? This is a serpent dragon. That's a wyvern. Of course, according to Monster Hunter, pretty much everything is a wyvern. <laughs> Unless it's just a straight up, like, monkey. Or a eldritch abomination elder dragon. Other than that, no, you're flying wyvern, bird wyvern, brute wyvern, fanged wyvern. My favorites are brutes. Because it is Devil Joe and Brachidios. And Brachidios is cool. He's got a pompadour. I think pompadours are just <laughs> really friggin' cool. Seems like a lot of work to have a private beach. I'm 
so you were just going to use me to talk to the fish god for the rest of my life. Ew. Boy, what a dick. That's what I'm talking about, Jonah. Push him, push him. Come on, push him. Or summon Leviathan. Holy shit. Yeah, don't be a dick. I'm sure you heard all of it. Oh no, Jonah! You took the wrong one, Leviathan. Boy, sounds like it's up to us, huh? That's not what I meant to do. What new equips can I get on me? Because I don't know if I'm feeling up for, uh... Oh, sweet blue jeans. Uh, can someone else equip those that might use it better? Yeah, you need it way more. That ought to be fine. You're next. And boss time against Leviathan, or Yeviathan, or whatever it wants to be. Alright, so I'm mostly just going to stick with Falcon Slashes. I'm going to try one Thunder Thrust, but that's the extent of it. Meanwhile, you are going to buff yourself, and you are going to use Propeller Blade. Nice. I wish that dealt more- oh no. Ah, oh, sweet, Val's got her coup de grace, so I can show what those are. I didn't figure. Hey, well, let's get everyone that can heal healing and get a critical claim going, which is basically what Thunder Thrust would have done. And keep up with the propeller blades. Why did Dustfield use heal when he could use Caduceus? I'm not used to it. Oh shit, I gotta get right on that. Nice! Got more of those. Those are good. As for abilities... And just stick with the attacking then. Steam, steam, propeller blade. Alright Dustfield, I need you to get your turn, I need you to get it now. I knew that was coming. Nice. Alright, healing up again. Still just attacking. What's your coup de gras? Oh, shit. Uh, then let's just have you Falcon Slash. Uh, some job classes have really good coup de gras. Well,. I'm not going to say, like, any of them are bad. Like, this one's a full party heal. But I know, like, gladiators go up to a uh, full tension. One gives you total invincibility for, like, three turns just on you. Or is it one turn? I forget. I think it's one turn. Three turns sounds a little insane. Um... He's not really casting spells. He's going to buff on Steam. And go for flailing nails. Ho oh, ho! Nice! Oh shit. Well, thank god I got that buff on Steam going. Might be a little under leveled, but as long as he's got eyes on Steam, I don't think he can use a uh, tidal wave. Uh, 
And really, let's just keep going with that. Let's get another buff on Steam. I should use Flaily Nails. Yeah, Flaily like Nails did like twice as much there. And the rage subsided. Hello. Tack, tack, Caduceus. And the Flaily Nails. Boy, I am loving that. <laughs> See, I like to make up for low levels in games by having a lot of good skills, or gimping myself by having good skills but low stats. That could have been scarier. Like, uh, when I played through Dragon Quest V last year, I uh, got the Metal King Sword, just the ultimate sword in the game, as soon as you could possibly get it, which is only a few hours in. And... So I managed to keep my levels super low by using that, too, because I was dealing the same levels as I would have been at the proper stats, but I had the attack, but I was a glass cannon to compensate. And it was a really fun way to go about playing the game. And it's how I kind of prefer to go through in games. Because if I'm the ultimate power, in addition to the ultimate defense, I've turned the game into press A to win. Sometimes that's cool, but sometimes it's not. I thought it was cool in Final Fantasy VIII, but that's Final Fantasy VIII. Anyway. Nice. Hopefully everyone levels up from that. Uh, I don't think I can get anything immediately besides Flower Power or Hypno Whip, but I'm not interested in either of those, so I'm just going to put everything in Swords. Alright, so what do I put in you? I'm close to Hard Claw, and I'm not close to Mensana, whatever that does, so... Just everything in the claws. Oh, is that it? Nope. Damn. And more Emerald Moss. Bitches love Emeralds. Now spit the girl back up and take the right victim. Oh, sweet. You gonna be alright, Jonah? It's kind of a traumatic experience. Not again. Oh, he's talking. I'm assuming that's your dad. His dad is fucking hot. <laughs> I wish I could have apps like that. Wait, so you can- they can both see the corpse? That's weird. Oh. It's a dab. I'm gonna assume it's a child. other people, you just swim with a whale for the rest of your life. Literally Final Fantasy X. Let's just do it with legit, you know? <laughs> oh, just growing up pretty well. Young love. Isn't it beautiful?
Boy, this game has just been ripe with feels. <laughs> just been going straight into it since Coffinwell. Well, at least we found out what happened to her dad. And we got a fig! Thank you for that free rest. I was worried that Steam didn't have enough MP. Though I don't think I'm gonna need Propeller Claw anymore if I have Flailing Nails. I'm going to assume you went to small girl and not just being a girl, because it's incredibly sexist, you pig. <laughs> Yeah, you better hope you turned out okay. Give me that fucking treasure chest I earned. Hey, Niggin. Looks like we did a good thing for this place. We deserve that fig. I wonder what it'd be like to be a fisherman by trade. Sounds like it'd be boring and dangerous. I saw the deadly storm, or the perfect storm. Well, he turned into the ultimate fisher then, didn't he? I wonder if Leviathan, if he, even though he passed, I wonder if Leviathan turned into like some sort of like mindless sea creature because he's gone. That Leviathan is gone too. Hey, well, I guess we'll never find out. Heh, <laughs> you're a buddy. Sounds like a plan. We don't need the Starflight Express. With here, we can get some fresh sushi. Sushi sounds good right now. I love sushi. It's the bomb. I don't think we can control this boat ourselves. We do get a boat, but not until later. I'm not gonna say much later, I don't recall exactly how later. Though I imagine it's gonna be soon, because I think the fourth fig is across the sea, and I thought we could control it. Still don't know who old Fat Guts is. You're not really explaining that. We've explained ourselves to you through our mute charm. What's your excuse? Slurry Quay. Oh. I like it. Let's go find out. I'll get some more tortoise shell. Dower Bridge, huh? These are a lot of places that I have no idea what you're talking about. May I steal these? I didn't figure. This one is mine, though. That is my seed of strength. And I don't know who I'm going to give these seeds to. But I might as well find out now. I think I put them all in the bag then, yeah? Uh... Yeah, I'll come on. Uh, agility, we're gonna give that to Dustfield. Might as well make his good agility all, like, better. That one's clearly going to steam, because he needs to be a thief sometimes. Strength can either go to me or Val, but... I'm gonna give one to me. And one to Val. And Seed of Skill. I'm also gonna give that one to me. I'm not going to use those yet. That'll be a pleasant surprise when I forget about it later. I'm going to assume those purple mobs have the poison element, because purple mobs of Dragon Quest tend to have the poison element. 
Is this Dower Bridge or Slurry Quay? Just sounds like a disgusting name for your place. Would you ever want to live in a place called Slurry Quay? Yeah, but you've got a ball and chain. I don't really trust you. Who be you? Oh, it's a Q again. You're looking for someone, I can tell. Not even gonna ask, you're just going to assume. I looked, d looked at you dead in the eye. Stella, the only reason I keep you around is because I can't get around without you. If I'm not mistaken, no, this is not the guy. Really? Forty dollars? That's only five times as much. I think everyone in here is five times the price that it should be. So, Dower Bridge is... Hello, sir. Now, if I'm not mistaken... I think... Yeah, there's a locked door. Which I believe may open up in post-game or something, but I think you can buy, uh... Falcon Swords there. That is the skeeviest looking prayer place in the world. Let's check it out. How bad could it be? Boy, this place is... This is just foul. So it's a slum. Um, jeez, a cautery sword. Are these the actual prices, or am I being, uh, held up again? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Even if I am being held up, money's simple to come by. <laughs> Get on, on, Steam. Um, Holy Lance isn't that much stronger, but the Cautery Sword is slightly stronger. <laughs> I believe the Cautery Sword casts Sizz if you use it as an item in battle. And I just love how the Cautery Sword looks. I'm not going to upgrade anyone else's stuff just yet. Uh, or armor, for that matter doing perfectly fine with my armor. Though I am probably going to do some cash grinding before too long, because I don't know how long this armor's going to last me. Uh, yeah, let's head over to Bloomingdale then, because I don't think Dower Bridge is anything important to our quest. Oh god. The yeah, zucchinis now, they've become more than just cruel cumbers. What are you? What specific brand of fruit, or species of fruit, I should say? A zoomini. I knew it. Actually, let's try out that cautery sword. Uh, and everyone else just attack. Ow! Zucchini is delicious. I, just, I prefer squash, though. Alright. That's a waste of time. <laughs> Jesus. I think it's better in earlier games. Like, I know I used it a lot in 4. Did I use it in my LP? Who here has even watched my Dragon Warrior 4 LP? Who here has even known that I had one? Um. Ah, damn it, one point short of attack plus 30. And then multi thrust is basically flailing nails with your spear. And then Omnivocational Spearmaster, and then I can become a gladiator. Because I think Warrior just stops being useful at that point. Boy, how hard in the south do we have to go? We're seeing some real weirdos. 
Please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Oh, thank God he's one of those. Norse Thief. Okay, so Flow Aroma is just a little to the southeast, and then Xerox. Isn't there a town called Zare? Are we that close to that place? I imagine. Boy, those guys are frightening me. Oh boy. See, the slimes around here have been coming, becoming slime stacks, so I wonder if uh, we're going to start seeing king slime soon. That'd suck. King slimes are strong. Probably too strong for this point in the game for us. Alright, I'm actually going to end the episode here, because again, getting a little long. Alright, I'm going to see you guys next time, and hopefully we can get some good grinding done soon. <laughs> I have no idea.